Bueno. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Listen, I can't do it. I can't do it. become so politically correct that you can't say poop if you step in it. Our gates are open. Friends, neighbors, Jesus Christ, they're all welcome. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I really enjoyed that. That just kind of starts everything off right, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm Peggy Oak. This is my husband, Dan. We host the National Championship Chuck Wagon Races at our ranch here in Clinton, Arkansas. I, I do the, uh, the uh, hard work. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you do, honey? I pay the bills. She pays the bills. <laughs> it was our time to have her friends over, and we was all old and quit rodeoing, and uh, we had wagons. I said, well, let's have a wagon race. So we just had one and people just laughed and hollered. And This is our 32nd year. We started out with eight wagons. Uh, last year we had 5,045 horses checked in. It's the largest horse event that we know of in the United States at one time. I'm a rancher's wife. I've never pretended to be a cowgirl. This is Noah's Ark. Um, and we can have Noah's Ark made however you want. You have to grind it. We had the feed store, and I worked at the feed store with Dan, and just felt like there was something I could do. So we decided that we would do some type of Western decor. It's how we like to decorate. And Dan said, well, I don't think you'll do very good. I don't think you'll do any good, but I'll give you the loft of the barn, and you can see. And five buildings later, I think I, think I proved myself. I was born to be a cowboy. I thought maybe a bull rider, but God didn't let me be a bull rider or a bronc rider. It was a chuck wagon race promoter and a rancher. I always wanted to be a rancher. We like pres President Trump. I like him. I, I tell people I'm married to him because my husband's just like him. You know, he says what he's gonna do and does what he says he's gonna do. And that's why we like him, because Dan's the same way. I think the government's out of control. You know, they need to, they need to have more people that's running the government's had uh, hands-on experience that's made their land and, and lived on the river. Now, if we're contaminating the river, I'm going to stop it because my grandmother and my grandchildren drank the water down below here. And if we're contaminating, I'm going to stop it. We don't have to have the Washington to stop that. You know, are they here to help us? They used to be, I thought they were, you know? Most of our furniture, or wooden furniture, comes from Mexico. If we were to buy it from an American producer, this quality, it would, our wholesale cost would be what we retail this table for. But now we do support our president, and if he says that there's gonna be a border tax, we're gonna pay it because we feel like it will benefit us all in the long run. Four years ago, some people come and said, Dan, can we spread the ashes of our father? Boy, I mean, I just, you, it just humbles you that you've created an event for a guy that wanted to be buried at, at this event. Now, I was raised in a real small town. I guess you could say I grew up pretty poor. But to think that from where I came from to be a success, gosh, it's amazing. It's really humbling too. Man, could you not dream of having a ranch and having been a rodeo star? I thought I was going to be. I'm a chuck wagon race producer, I guess, but that's okay. You know, it, it's to do with people and horses and cattle and we've been blessed. We're lovers, we're partners, we're friends, we like each other, we think the same way. His success is my success and mine is his. You know, it's, I wish everybody's marriage could be like this. Mm -hmm.